Hi everybody, Emma here. Take a look at what I have. I'm so excited. So, oh, I, I had all of this done last night and it was like two in the morning and I was like, I have to go to bed. So I thought rather than try and rush through to show you because I was so excited, I decided to, uh, to wait till I had some coffee this morning and wake up and, and do this properly. So, um, I think I pulled apart the initial ones that I made with, um, the head pins and I went ahead and used my, um, this is a 20 gauge gold. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy to use, um, really soft. And uh, so what I do, and I might as well do it now because I have a few still to do so I can show you what I made. So let me throw my goodies out. <laughs> That's the fun part. Let me, I wanted to find something that I could use on this for um, and I haven't quite said bracelet yet <laughs> that's where I'm kind of heading um, I think I may end up doing a uh, necklace at some point but this is all I have left of the um, the leaves so I have I think I might have enough done up already of the different color leaves. Um, I've got two red left. I was hoping to show you on each one, and maybe two on each one to show you, but we'll see. Uh, it's starting to look like there's a lot there, so um, that may be enough. Okay, so... There's a few yellows left. And it looks like I only have one orange left of the leaves. But what I'll do is I'll show you each one. So, okay, so let's, let's actually start and do, do one. So I just pull out a length of wire. Keep it on the... Um, just make sure this is lit enough. Keep it on the uh, spool, which actually doesn't really matter because the spool is loose, so I kind of have to hold it with my hand, my thumb, and just kind of harden it a bit. And I know this is probably a lot to work with, this piece, but when I do it this way, then I there's lace, less wastage. And I usually end up with a small piece about half of this so I can still make one with this piece um, and then have like a little bit left over for whatever so um, I start with oh right 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 um, I start with the turn here the little design and I take my flat uh, oh wrong ones my flat nose flyers and so I noticed I had some tiny ones that were nice so you still saw the crystal and then I had some that were so big that it kind of covers the crystal so here's the the question I have for you and I guess it's kind of hard for you to see because maybe what I'll do is I'll try it with this one so initially I didn't put that little design I just curled my um, let me curl this here and show you what I did initially so just Turn it a bit and pop this guy on. Okay. 
this is <laughs> I'm realizing this is really hard to do with the camera in front of me because it's in the way and then you just oh and put your leaf on So you want your leaf to sit exactly behind it like that. So this is what it would look like without the, um, I don't know if you can see that, I feel like it's not lit up enough. There's a little better. So this is what it could look like. Let me put some seed beads on here to give you a better idea. So it'll look the same as the other. Okay, so this is what it could look like. And it actually looks really pretty because you see the crystal and you can actually turn the crystal a little more than that so that you're getting kind of a side view of the crystal. You see the faceted, and I was turning this guy in some more too, so that the seed beads end up sitting above. Something like that. So that's really pretty, but you know what? Actually, now that I look at it, as pretty as this is, <laughs> here's a, let's take a one that has the design in it. That actually really makes it pop. So back to the design. Um, I like it better with the teeny tiny ones. Let me just set that aside for now. So I like it better with the teeny tiny ones. But I noticed what I was do what I was doing wrong. So when you go to turn this, I was using my tool as a gauge. So I would put the piece of wire like this and then turn it. So you're using that whole length as your length, which means every time you turn, your design's gonna get bigger and bigger. But what I started doing was taking half of the wire or half of the length of your tool, so it ends about there, and turn it. Turn it up as far over as you can get it, like that. And then take, I have a pair of these that are serrated. And the reason I say serrated because it holds the wire from slipping from side to side. And actually, I did it this way in this big spot. So they kind of sat in a groove and squeeze it. Oh, there's the... Let's squeeze it there. So now, let's see if I enlarge this is better. Need more light here. There, so now I again took the serrated, and here's the thing you have to be careful because this stuff gets damaged pretty well. And if you look up closely, a lot of mine are kind of scuffed up, but at a distance, you don't really know it, notice it. So until I get better at this, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I just grab a hold and use your fingers to turn this now because of the setup oh, it's really going to be really hard let's see if I can do this so turn the wire around that piece with your finger as much as you can like that now you're going to turn it over this one. So you could probably end here as your design and that would make it teeny tiny. But I went one more to the other end here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? This is the first time I've done this. So please be patient with me. <laughs> I'm learning.
I'm doing some, uh, like when I got done this, I was like, ooh, this turned out pretty good. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want this to sit in front of the crystal. So you can either take these like this at the point where you want your wire to flip back and just tuck it with your thumb or you could use your nice flat ones and sometimes you get a flatter edge here so now it's time to add your crystal um let's do a red one again so just because it's so beautiful so we want our drop design to be a drop so we want it to come down and then add our leaf and there's two sides to the leaf so we want the side that has the um, the veining because this is the other side it's smooth but you could do both I mean depends on what design you want but I prefer to see all the lovely veining in the leaf so this is what you end up with so now I am going to take and put my finger here and it's okay if this bends into the crystal because I am going to turn the crystal up a bit and I'm grabbing this with these and trying to turn them as much as I can as I'm pushing the crystal up as well. There. Something like that. And I'm bringing it forward a bit. So let me show you. Because I want my seed beads to sit up here at the top of this and maybe even turn this a little more. So let's see if we can do that. Just kind of push it with your, and you could, you know, grab that and go a little further there. Perfect. And just straighten it out a bit. There you have it. Add your seed beads. So I just add two. that and just kind of move them around oh I'm sorry Ugh. move them around a bit hopefully you saw that there so now I use this kind of finger method of measuring I take and hold my beads and I notice that I always end up with more than I need so let's kind of point the nail down and I'm going to cut it about uh, maybe here. And if I have to cut more off, I'll cut more off. But in the meantime, just that's where I'm going to cut. Hang on to that and use that for the next one. And take your round nose and about that size a loop. That. and I turn it away and just keep rolling till yeah so I didn't have enough so I'm just taking it out and making it a bit smaller there like that and because you want your loop kind of in set in the middle you just take this end here and tip it a bit there you can also do it this way like that and it's ready to go so that's how easy it is with this lovely wire you could do wrap so let's put that one there so let me count I've got two four six eight ten eleven two four six seven this would make it eleven of those 
three, five, nine. Do you know what? Maybe I should just do ten of each. So let's take one of these away. And one of the reds away. What did it say? Five. Okay, so I need one for there. And so I need three of the yellow. Five and ten. So I can put that away. I could use that for earrings. Um five. Okay, so we have enough red and we have enough green. So we need a couple more yellows. So let me see if I can um, do these quickly with the camera in the way. Oh, right, I need my design. Grab half and turn it, squeeze it. And then turn this guy. So <laughs> I loved all everybody's comments yesterday. That was so hilarious. I didn't realize <laughs> how funny the video was. I mean, I was laughing because I thought it was ridiculous, the size of those tools. So, yeah, that was pretty funny. And then there was a lot of uh, comments about... Um, people's husbands being shown my my uh, bead supply <laughs> compared to theirs <laughs> uh, so my wife was joking saying we well, should just tell them they can get a get out of jail free card <laughs> okay this is needs to be turned there. So yeah, that one's kind of scuffed up. I'm noticing now. I'll try using the other tool. I tried using the nylon tool. It's now actually somebody mentioned uh, using tape, and I used to have tape on these. I should maybe do that again. So grab our seed beads. Well, you. You can use the um, get out of jail free card this week because I suspect you're going to see a whole lot more deliveries today or this week. I have at least one more order from Art Beats. Um, I have two orders from Jill Wiseman. Those ones might take another week, though. Uh, what else? Oh, I have a bunch of stuff from... Um, I have crystals, bicones, um, pearls from uh, AliExpress. So, yeah. Oh, ceramic. A ton of ceramic beads from them okay so this let's try the nylon one see if this will hold it I find it just slides around so yeah it won't hold it let me try the flat one oh, the, oh 
kind of works. It's still scuffing it up now. It's just turning too much. Um, yeah, so lots of stuff still coming. Oh, and uh, so there's, I wanted to mention too, I have seen these leaves on BB Craft hulls. So you can buy like a massive bag of these guys. And I might just bring it up before the end of this video so you can see where to get it and how much they're charging. We need two yellows. Yeah, so these um, leaves I bought from an Etsy seller in Canada. I got them for super, super cheap. And it's kind of good because I'm not a big plastic or... What's the nylon um, beads and leaves and stuff like that? But these lucite ones are really pretty, and I think part of it is that the the um, the uh, sorry, I kind of bent that a bit. I think I want that forward a bit more. straighten this out this is like super hard to do in front of the camera here um, the lucite beads are leaves I think the difference is one they're light so that's super positive two they're transparent so you can see light through them um, they kind of remind me of crystals in a sense, like a frosted crystal. And then they're spectacular with all their detail. So, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you like them? They kind of hit a lot of things that, that are positive when you're beating. So... smaller there I'll leave it kind of tilted so that it's open but let me straighten that out a bit there so there's that one one more wait till you see the other stuff that I did so once I got like I sat while I was watching TV doing these on a bead tray so you can imagine like once you get going on them they get really easy like right now it looks awkward because I have a large tablet in front of me which makes it hard to angle your arms and hands But, um, yeah, so once I got going, it was pretty easy, and then that one's kind of crushed. Some of them are a bit damaged. These are super old. I bought these probably like 10 years ago um, to make uh, chakra-style bracelets, so I got the different rainbow colors. And... Um, They were super cheap and expensive, so 
but that was on eBay and that's been a while because I've been pricing these guys out. It's not so cheap anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's all relative, right? Because, like, I probably paid for maybe a hundred of them. I probably paid a dollar for a hundred of these guys. So that and that's Canadian free shipping. So I would call that cheap, inexpensive. I don't like saying cheap. Cheap implies that they're not good, and these are good for this now if I was going to do like a spectacular bracelet I would want to use some Swarovskis I'm totally sold on those guys now I'm going to go a bit longer because I'm noticing they're a bit short Okay, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so we got 10 of those, 10 of those, 10 of those, 10 of those. So I'll show you what I did while I was sitting there. So I wanted to add my uh, pine cone. And but I also wanted to add all the colors that were of the crystals that were incorporated. So I just created, you know, I could probably do this one. How much time do we have? Let me, I need a lot more wire than that. I wonder if this one will work. I probably, yeah, I need more wire for this. Um, and I need a little churn. Just one sec. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'll show you how I made these in another video so that I can really give you the detail. I don't want to rush through it, but I created these to create some dangles, but I'm noticing like this is super long. Now, I did think that maybe what I could do with this one is bend it a bit. I don't want to do it right now, but bend it a bit and maybe attach it somehow to the bracelet. So I'm going to make a bracelet. Um, I will probably, as you can see in the corner here, I have some stuff left over so I can go ahead and make a necklace with that and I have this beautiful tree pendant that would go awesome on it and um, you could actually wire wrap some uh, of these crystals onto here let me see give you an idea so maybe on the outside edge probably yeah and do the different colors and make it like a rainbow so let me see just to give you an idea get all the different colors here and pick up a brown so maybe roll that a bit this is not how I would do it but I'm just giving you an idea so yeah this would look amazing oh. here let's do this let me just turn this So you can see how amazing that would look. I don't know if I would put them that close together. I might add a swirl around each one. 
So yeah, that would look amazing. And do the same on the other side. So let's just set that aside. Okay, just one sec. So I just wanted to check on uh, BB Craft to see about those leaves because I have seen them in an unboxing and I've seen people with a big, big bag of multicolored ones and um, I would like to know from other people if they've noticed that the prices have gone up on BB Craft. I felt like there was a big push, like even with YouTubers, to um, to promote their products, which is fine. I mean, I, I did it, so I can't say anything negative about it. It was, uh, it was nice to be able to do that. Um, but I'm looking at these prices and first of all, I don't see a bag of multicolored leaves yet. Okay. I do see one. Sorry. There's one here for $17. I don't think this is the one that I saw and I'll show you. Um, it is, uh, like kind of pinks and pastels and they're pointed leaves. They're not maple leaves. And it's $17. Now, 500 grams is probably a lot because these guys are super, super light. So that's half a kilogram. That's about a, a pound, I guess. So, yeah, that's a lot. Um, if they were the right color. But even still, I think $17 Canadian is a lot for this. So I'll have to do a search of other places. Now, um... So they have the frosted maple leaves, but they have them separate by color. And I always find um, sellers that don't offer multiple color uh, packages of stuff like this um, a bit suspect of kind of that kind of practice because most people want more than one color and they know that so they know you're gonna so here's some more color options but they want $33 for 500 grams that's nuts that's way too much money for this so you know let me know what you think I so here's one that's 50 pieces for $9. Um, I'm thinking 50 pieces for at the most $2. So I think that's a bit sketch. So yeah. I, I noticed with other stuff when I went back to look for things and I've started doing screenshots of things because I feel like some of these prices change from day to day and I understand they do but um, I feel like uh, people are being taken advantage of and that's just my opinion <laughs> okay so this is some gold. It's more of a, gold, a rose gold. It would be cool if I had some chunky, you know, really yellow um, chain. But that's fine. This will brighten it up. So I think what I'm going to do, initially what I did was I took some... Uh, let's use these guys. They're a little bigger. And these are some old ones I had and um, they're a lot stronger than this is the BB craft ones the BB craft ones are super soft and not very thick so um, I tried it with one of each color and I felt like it was too jumbled so I don't know let me try it again Oh, I, didn't, I needed a green. Let's quickly do a green. Oh, we've used up the 
thing. Well, we'll just remember that we need another green there if we want to make it even. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to put one of those on. So I'll try both all four, I mean. And I'll have to remember some of these loops are not closed. So let's start here. I think I need to make sure that's closed a little better. Too bad. You know what? We'll try it and see. Can't uh, anticipate everything, so let's just go ahead. I'll do a few more and then I'll do the rest and I'll come back. So I'm not going to worry too much about the. Um, the pattern because these are all going to be bouncing all over the place so you won't notice a pattern anyway but I am going to go should I do two there's a lot of links in the maybe four apart four parts it which makes sense if you have four pieces maybe four part is where it needs to be so I'll try and change these up a bit so I'll do five on one side and then five on the other and see where it takes me so I may end up having to add some more and an orange I hope this lighting is good because it the angle I think I have glare on my screen so it's kind of hard to tell so one two three four one two three four I'm gonna take a look on Amazon and here's another place eBay maybe for these Lucite leaves I definitely want to get a big bag but I don't uh, there's no way I'm paying $33 so it looks nice but I feel like there's you know what I think it's these loops are too big it's leaving a space so I think I need a smaller jump ring which I have so that's easy to fix okay They sound really cool when they're clicking together. That's one of the things I love about cha-cha bracelets. It's the little kind of tinkling, jingling sound. I have a um, bracelet that I got from an Etsy artist uh, in Thailand. And the button clasp is a little tiny bell. I didn't realize it actually has a little kind of tinker bell inside and I was doing yin yoga and I was like oh uh oh every time I moved you'd hear ding 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 I'm sure nobody noticed okay, let's 
Okay. Now these are super small. They might be too small, but we'll see. I may end up, and I that's why I left these open. I may end up just putting, hooking them on directly to the bracelet. So that's still an option. Oh, these are super strong. I guess as you get smaller, right? So yellow. Oh, I think it's going to be fine. And a red. I need some better light here. This is ridiculous. Let me uh, move some of this stuff out of the way so you have the white background of the mat. And hopefully that will be easier to see. And where's the tools? Much better. There. Perfect. And even then you still have some Oh, I forgot the red. It must have fallen off. It's like something's missing. Let me just open this guy and pop it on. Look at that. So I guess I'll have to turn that one. It's on the wrong side. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do this off camera and make it a lot easier. And I'll come back and show you and have it all finished. So I am done. Let me show you what I ended up doing. So I have this beautiful bird clasp that the tail opens the clasp. It's like a lobster clasp. So I attach that to the one side and to kind of match because I didn't have any gold I added the antique gold ring as well and I still used my um, gold jump rings and I added so I did bend this one a little bit so that it would kind of dangle and then come to this here with the pine cone and then I have all of these <laughs> amazing leaves and what I started doing was I started um, just flipping them back and forth like not putting any order to how they lay on there because it was just it doesn't they were either all going one way or the other way so this way if I flipped and turned them then some you see on one side some on the other side they're all gonna get jumbled anyway and then I added this one here to this side so there you go this gorgeous cha-cha bracelet Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so there you go. This is, is so much fun. The colors are just exciting and gorgeous. So there you go. Thanks for hanging in there and joining me. Let's turn some of these guys over so you can see the crystals. Lovely. Lovely. Awesome. There we go. So I have some left to do some earrings and maybe a necklace, not this um, 
filled in because of the uh, how few I have left. But uh, yeah, we'll do something with that. And in the meantime, I will take a look and see if I can find some more um, of these leaves at a better price than $33. That's crazy. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you soon.